When you want to voice track in Playout 1, it's very, very simple indeed. My name is Dave Bradley jones from Air, and in the next five minutes, you'll see how easy it is to do so. There's two very quick ways to voice track in Playout 1. The first way is enabling the voice tracking widget, and you do this by right-clicking on the log, going down to widgets, and showing the voice tracking widget. Now, once you've done this, you can click the microphone to record a voice track. It's important to note when you click this, wherever you are stationed in the log, it's going to play you the item directly above it. That's the song or the item you'll be talking out of. And then the item you are selected on will be the item that you talk into. Your voice track will go in the middle of those items. So let's go ahead and record our first voice track. I'm going to click on the microphone button just here to start. And oh, what's this? Record device error. We haven't selected our voice tracking device or there's a problem with the device. So we go into play out one settings here, go over to the hardware tab, and then we need to make sure the VTM record device and the input channel are set to the device or your microphone that is going to be used to record your voice track. Make sure they're set both to the same device and then try again. Okay, so we've still got a problem. There's one more thing to try, and that is the microphone privacy settings within Windows. Unfortunately, privacy and all that, sometimes Windows disables access to the microphone for Windows apps. It's very, very easy to disable, and here's how you do it. You are going to go to your Windows start menu. You're going to type in privacy, select microphone privacy settings, and then enable this toggle here to allow access to the microphone for Windows apps. Once you've done that, restart Playout 1, and then hopefully we can start voice tracking. So Playout 1's restarted. I'm just going to my log, and now I'm going to click on the item where I want to insert my voice track. And I'm going to click the microphone. You are, you are, you are Lizzo so and Special on special. Classic Hits. This is Dave doing a demo video for you. I'm now going to click the microphone again to start the next song. This will be Miley Cyrus and Flowers. And I'm talking over the intro of Miley, and when I'm finished, I hit the button again. So it's three presses of the microphone. Click yes to confirm. Your voice track is then in the log. And if you double click on it, you get the seg editor. Now, I'm doing this video, and my microphone device is not quite set up properly, so you can't see the waveform on my voice track. But you can see we can play around with the envelopes. We can alter volumes. We can move tracks around. So if I stepped over the intro of Miley Cyrus, I could correct that post-production wise and sound like a genius. We can change the gains on either track. So if I'm a bit quiet, I can turn myself up or down. And if I'm talking a little fast, I can slow myself down or make myself speed up really quickly. Uh, you wouldn't really use that, I don't think, in a voice track, but for production, it's great. Hit the save button and you're ready to go. So let's record another voice track, this time in the seg editor. I'm going to find where I want to put my next voice track, and I'm going to double click on the song I want to talk into, Mimi Web. And when the seg editor opens, we're going to click the red microphone to start the process. Now, this is slightly different. I'll talk you through it. Let's click the button once. So Red Flags is playing, and you can hear that, but my microphone is not recording yet. I need to press the button again for a second time, so let's uh, go ahead and do that. Here is the wonderful song from Mimi Webb. Uh, I'm not a jock. I'm not a presenter. Press the button for a third time to start the next song. We can see there is Niall Horan. And when we're ready to save it, we click the button one more time and then hit yes. And that is how you voice track in the Seg Editor. So there's my waveform. This time it does work. And in here, you can do some real clever stuff. You can move the trim in. So if you uh, wanted to just... Uh, take the silence off the front there. We can alter the envelopes. We can delete them by right-clicking. We can add them by clicking. Uh, you can audition at any time just by clicking and hitting play. It's very, very simple in that respect. Fun to use as well. You can really craft a seg how you want it. If we nip into the settings window, there's an option for choosing where the audio out, which sound card that uses. The microphone or sound device that you use to record with is in the audio in tab. And then in the other tab here, there's a couple of settings that you can enable uh, to customize your voice tracking experience even further.